what's up guys? Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. So today what I have for you guys is a special hairstyle video that I did with Fernando Salazar, the third. You have to say the third because if not he gets very angry. So for this video, my hairstylist Fernando cut my hair. So he's basically going to go through the most important elements to achieve this haircut right here. Which is a James Dean inspired hairstyle. So I didn't want to lose too much length. I don't want to lose the ability to potentially grow out my hair. So I told him I want a nice trim. I like that photo of James Dean. Welcome everyone to the Fernando Show. For people that are wondering how to get a proper consultation with your stylist, it's always good to have pictures of what you want, at least five to 10. It definitely helps us, gives us an idea of where you want to go with your hair and the image. When you give us that much to work off of, we can generally find somewhere a happy in between with your hair and the models that you show us. Of course, he came in with a picture, showed me what he wanted to do, where he wanted to go with, and I just, I told him what we would have to do to get there. Uh, length that I'm using right now is a six and what it it's longer than a finger length for me What it does is it kind of uniforms around the haircut that we just did and Brings the edge taper together. We're not really gonna take it too short That's why I'm using a six just to set a guide for myself Then I'm gonna go in and point cut around the edges Still a little bit bulky on the side so we're going to point cut the side take it down a little bit and shape throughout the back kind of to make a v shape clean up around the edges so it's not so messy so point cutting really helps the lay of the hair it gives it a very uniform look especially with curly hair it's great to point cut because when the hair is curly and you cut it blunt this meaning blunt flat it gives it a almost a box shape. The hair does not fall naturally. And as it grows out, it'll get more of a helmet look. When you point cut, the hair lays on top of itself much better to give it more of a natural lay. And as it grows out, looks a lot cleaner. gives a lot more texture as you can see just that section right there lays very nicely as you comb it back on itself very natural fall not heavy takes the weight off of the hair and the bulk now if you're to cut it blunt you have all that hair just sitting on top of each other it gets very heavy this takes the weight out texturizes it slightly looks very natural what we're gonna do with Carlos's edges today, he wants it to still be messy, have a little bit of length, but he likes it clean around his ears. In order to get that look, same idea with point cutting, except we're not extending the hair out. We're gonna lay it flat onto the head and then point cut into the hairline. What it gives is a nice natural look, nice natural lay. As you notice, I push his long hair back so we're not cutting any of that off. Just all the little peach fuzz hair. And as you see, still a very natural look. Very messy. Now when doing the bottom back, I go up underneath the haircut so that way when it lays down, it's still messy.
for this video, my hair is very wavy and curly. We used a curl enhancing product by Paul Mitchell, which worked really good. As you guys can see right now, I have a nice little wavy pump going on. So the hairstyle is very versatile and that's exactly what I wanted to maintain. So there you guys have it. That is the video. Shout out to Nando for making this video in his amazing salon called The Beauty Spot in San Jose, California. All his information will be down below in the description if you guys are local. I highly recommend you guys check him out. He's amazing. Just tell him that Jordan or I sent you and he'll definitely hook you guys up. I'm doing a Q&A on my Instagram at Roberto. Follow me there. If anything that strikes your curiosity, just let me know on Instagram um, and I'll be answering all your questions in a video next week. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for stopping on my YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to put style on everything. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. But no, nah, she um she's super cool. Good people. She's true. <laughs> yeah. Trying to talk too fast. Bro. I'm trying to talk too fast.